So, currently I'm working on a survival horror game. To be honest, my first Unreal Engine game. And for it to be satisfying, I need to make the perfect revolver for it. Let's see what I managed to accomplish in 24 hours. Ooh, that's kind of small. It doesn't matter if horror, multiplayer, irrelevant or a survival shooter, it needs a satisfying gun to make a good FPS. And for me personally, a revolver is the most satisfying weapon possible. Which is why I decided to focus on just making a revolver for my upcoming survival horror game. I started off by buying this pack from the store. I really liked the animations and it seemed to have good reviews. Some of you might call this, I guess, cheating in a sort of way, but there's no way I'm recreating every single asset and model from scratch for my game, otherwise I'll never finish the game at all, which I think so is the beauty of nowadays indie game development is that you have this huge community which shares with each other. I mean, obviously you pay a bit of a price, but I think it's totally fair paying like 20 bucks for a whole an animation set and model set. Did you sell your soul for me? No! Tell me the truth. I've got nothing left! I've got nothing left! <laughs> and I have to say, money well spent. It looked amazing on the engine. It had a bit weird positioning errors and some animation bugs. What the fuck? But uh, nothing that I could not fix by rewriting some blueprints. There were a few major things I wanted to change because they didn't really feel satisfying. Firstly, the sound. This is disgusting. This is awful in every way. If I could kill it, I would. But I legally can't. The muscle flash. Not being able to cancel any animations. The impact of bullets. Or, better said, the lack of impact of bullets. And I wanted to change the model for something a bit more unique, which also lends it to uh, some gameplay changes later on in the game, but I won't spoil it. So, this was my first attempt at the new sound effect. Let me know what you think. Okay, on a more serious note, I noticed I liked sound, which was a bit more reverby and a bit more bassy. Which is why I decided to switch most of the sounds and use the feature of sound cues in Unreal Engines, which allows you to modify a, a sound before it is played. So pretty much like a in-between layer. And um, so in that step, you can like randomize sound a bit. So I have different sound inputs, meaning that the trigger, for example, doesn't always sound the same, which makes it way more natural. Cause we're going down the chicken hole. At first when I saw this muscle flash, I was kind of disappointed. It's very good for performance, I have to say how it's implemented, but I didn't really like the scale. To improve it, I tried to uh, look at some tips Corridor Digital actually give. Um, they talk about video effects, but I think it's something you could also probably apply for game uh, effects. Now in regards to the muzzle flashes, there's a good rule of thumb that Sam and I have always followed, which is basically to say the size of your muzzle flash is roughly two thirds the size of your gun. When it's like pistol, it's roughly the size of your pistol. Ooh, that's kind of small. Which is why I tried to just scale it up a bit, uh, make that's quite the, big. all the effects around a bit more intense and gave it a light flicker. Just the light flick is more there for more kick and later in the game, maybe some gameplay aspects. To be honest, I just followed this really short and simple tutorial. You can go check it out in the description. Yoink. Uh, in the future, I want to add some variations to the bullet holes, but since I don't know what the walls are going to be, it might be a bit difficult. Let's get to one of the bigger points, 3D models. First, I need to get rid of these 
basic looking Unreal Engine hands because they just ruin the immersion. Which I did by just finding a male model online. Um, use the retargeting system and bam, all animations can be used by both skeleton meshes, aka add nice man hands now in game. Yeah, kinda. That sound, sounded kinda weird. Same time, I added this. Yes, I added a knife to a revolver, don't call the cops on me. I'm planning on building a few mechanics around it and have some story beats that will actually explain why you use such a contraption in the first place. So, since the knife isn't just a decoration, I downloaded the cross punch animation from Mixamo and adjusted the animation to work for my revolver. Pretty much just tracking it by hand where the revolver should be placed. Uh, I was running out, running out of time at this point, so I just decided to make a really cool version of it now. And I have to say the result is kind of uh, lackluster, the punch doesn't feel very impactful, so um, I tried moving the player mesh forward when you initiate the punch, which resulted in by Lewis Nightmare Fuel. Yeah! <laughs>